Driving on the beach is one of the few off-road challenges suitable for just about any SUV or 4x4, even those that only visit the shops or school drop-offs. Beach driving is fantastic fun, but be aware there are a few dangers lurking. Here's a clue, and this isn't for cooking. It can be hard avoiding salt water, it rises up from the sand as you drive, and of course, sea spray can cover your car. If you're driving in the water, you're doing something wrong or something bad's happened to you. Time and tide waits for no man, woman or car. Poor blighters, water, salt and sand equal rust. Rust is iron oxide. It's the product of an electrochemical process called corrosion. I'm on my way to see Jeff. He's an electrifying idea about rust prevention. So what is ERPS? Well, uh, this little uh, uh, generator here is the heart and soul of our electronic rust prevention system. It's a system that's designed to uh, put a charge through your car and uh, protect the vehicle from rust. Obviously here in Australia we're absolutely spoilt for choice uh, with locations we can go to, uh, the beach lifestyle. And there's consequences with that obviously when you're on the beach you've got salt, you've got moisture, water uh, and that's always looking to attack your car. But you've still got to care for the car, you can't, you've got to wash down, do all the usual things we do when we come off the beach as well? Absolutely, all, all the normal maintenance, uh, wash your car thoroughly with uh, good clean water yep. and uh, get the salt and the sand out of it as much as you can but obviously you can never get it 100% right. That's your insurance policy? That's your insurance policy, protecting your vehicle. But you also do other things, it's not all about just doing cars, is it? Uh, no, we've uh, strangely enough done everything from grand pianos to 400 tonne crawler cranes, mining equipment, uh, uh, even locker systems in uh, water parks and things. Right. Well this is it, isn't it? The great Aussie dream. Yes, living the dream, we're out and about enjoying it, and this sure is the is. lifestyle that we're trying to protect. About 98% of our product is built in-house. We do right from the design through to the testing and uh, the manufacturing in-house in our own facility. So these were designed by us. Uh, they're actually filled with silicon, completely injected with silicon, so it seals at 100% and uh, keeps all the moisture out. That's what I need from a boat. I have problems all the time with um, you know, yes. joints failing and uh, stuff. Uh, we do the same with our uh, coupler pads, which is where the uh, uh, electrical charges transferred to the body of the car. Again, they're put in the press in the factory and injected with silicon. So all, all of these components, we use marine grade wiring uh, yeah. because it stands up to the salt conditions better. Even the fuses, because we designed it ourselves, we've designed a small LED light into the end of the fuse, which means if the fuse blows, the light comes on. It's a simple thing, but... That's a great make... idea. That really is a great idea. Yeah. This is the heart and soul of our, uh, our system. It uh, transfers the charge to what we call the coupler pads and puts the charge into the body of the vehicle. There's several things we need to get right with this. Low battery draw, high voltage output, but no interference to the, either the vehicle or, or the people in it. The thing I like best about this product is that it's Australian made and it uses Australian components rather than you know, imported. I, I'll always support an Australian manufacturer if I can. If you haven't driven on Strutty beaches, what are you doing? It is just 45 minutes on a relaxing ferry ride from Brisbane. Check out Stradbroke Ferry's website for bookings, deals and don't forget your permit. Check out ERPS website and you can call in to meet Jeff and the ERPS team at the National 4x4 Boating and Fishing Expo in Brisbane. What a fantastic day on the beach. You bought the snacks, I'm going to supply the fish and chips. Of course, extra salt. <laughs>